Well, they are teeny tiny hitchhikers, and they are waiting to snag a ride on you or your clothing. And once they're on, they sink their teeth in. Bed bugs are about the last thing you'd like to discover, taking a nibble on your arm or leg in the middle of the night, but it's happening on Vancouver Island more and more often. And pest control operators say the numbers are still on their way up. A News reporter Andrew Johnson found out why and found out what you can do about it. His name is Vegas, and he can sniff out a bed bug, whether it's dead or alive. Let's go. Seek. Seek. Vegas is one of the more expensive weapons pest control companies can use to fight the critters who like to dine in the middle of the night on you. You can pick them up just about anywhere, but particularly in apartment buildings or hotels, they've been called a landlord's worst nightmare. Probably the biggest challenge is, is getting people to admit that they have them. So in a multi-unit building, uh, if a resident doesn't admit to having them, they get to a number such that they start to spread. And so there seems to be a stigma attached to bed bugs. No one wants to admit that they've got them. They think people think they're dirty or unclean. No, you're likely just unlucky and your wallet about to get lighter. It can cost thousands to have the problem taken care of, which will require several trips from exterminators who admit they aren't always successful. Just how serious is the capital region's bed bug affliction? Pest control experts say they are seeing a 300% rise here in just the past three years. Okay, this is just a baseboard that was pulled off of a wall. Today at a downtown symposium on the disturbing subject, hotel owners and landlords are being taught to catch the problem before it's too late. You should check uh, around the mattress seams, the box spring edges, uh, behind the headboard if it removes, uh, and the nightstands. That's advice you can also take at home because the nasty critters can pop up just about anywhere, clean or not. And some people don't react to their bites. There's a delayed reaction. You can bring them home and not know it for several days, but typically it's more like several weeks to a couple of months before you notice that you have an issue. Perhaps the best piece of advice you can use has nothing to do with your home, but maybe your friends or perhaps your acquaintance from work. When you go to that house party, don't throw your coat on the bed. Do not throw your coat on the bed. Um, Drink their host beer, but don't throw the coat on the bed. He's cute, but Vegas is the kind of dog you're better off never getting to meet. In Victoria, Andrew Johnson, A News.